Hi, this is Robert Marcos. My friend Bill Berry and I are out here at the north shore of the Salton Sea. Our goal today is to locate the wreckage of a PB2Y Coronado seaplane that went down in 1942 with nine crew members, only two of whom survived. And Bill Berry and I are headed to the north end of the Salton Sea to investigate one of the 26 aircraft known to have crashed here during World War II. During that period, there was three seaplanes that went down. Two Catalinas and a Coronado. That's and right. the Coronado was an unbelievably large aircraft. So it's low-hanging fruit is what I would call it like. <laughs> I think it's our best chance of being able to actually pick up um, an aircraft that's visible from the air with our drones. I think it's our best chance, Robert. Exactly. We don't know exactly where that plane is. We only know that it's somewhere on the north shore of the Salton Sea, not far from the Yacht Club. So we're parked right at the Yacht Club. We've kind of cut off the last half of the, 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 actually the upper portion, maybe 10 square miles of water on the upper portion of the north shore of the Salton Sea. And we're going to do a grid search going out two miles, coming back two miles on a regular basis, looking down into the water from about 400 feet. So I've got line of sight of the drone at 400 feet. There's nothing in the way, so we should be able to fly a long ways. I probably could fly three miles. I'm at 2,250 feet now. I brought three drones today. I brought a Mavic 2 Zoom, a Mavic 2 Pro, and a Mavic Mini. Uh, I've decided to use the zoom because I can get up to 400 feet and we're looking for a plane that has almost 3,000 square feet of area the size of a large four or five bedroom house. It's 27 feet tall so it should be close enough to the surface where I can pick that up and if I do see something I can use the zoom to zoom in to, to clarify whether or not it's actually something without changing my elevation or interrupting the grid pattern. So I'm at uh, almost 10,000 feet. What's the uh, furthest you've ever taken this drone? This is the farthest I've ever flown. Wow. But it's nice to know, it's comforting to know that if anything happens, you can just safely land it where it's at, right? No way to land it, that's for sure. <laughs> so I just passed 10,000 feet. 5,280 feet is a mile. I'm going to go out two miles. So I am now two miles out. Okay, I'm going to make a turn to the right at 90 degrees. Um, my battery warning signal is really close to coming up. What's your plan? You'll come back, land, and then put a new battery in? Right, I've got four batteries, so we can make, we can make four I'm guessing four or five searches. Bill just landed uh, off after his second long flight. Uh, the first time he flew out to 10,700 feet over the water, which is pretty hazardous. We reloaded the battery. He took off for a second trip, and right off the bat, he saw a couple strange things out over the water. There's something in the water there. Uh, it's not far offshore. I'll zoom into that just to get a look at it. It looks like a rock. Looks like a square rock though. Yeah. Rocks don't come square usually. Well, do you want me to drop down and take a close look at it? I think you should. Yeah. It's not very far offshore. But this is the kind of thing we're looking for, is if we can get 
any kind of detail. No, it's man-made. It looks almost like a wing, Robert. Oh my God. Come look at this. Well, that is unusual. No, it's not a hook. Well, I'm thinking it looks kind of like cement, though. I don't know. Look at those. That's metal. Is it floating or is it... Um, no, it's, it's underwater. It's a tank or something. I saw what I thought was a rock, but this is definitely man-made. I'm not sure what it is. I want to thank the men who died that day for our service. Pilot William O. Carlson. Co-pilot Jack E. Brenner. Ensign and Navigator John D. Simmons. Chief Mechanic Willard A. Morgan. Mechanic Lewis J. Hanlon. Mechanic John W. Jones. Mechanic James O'Connor.